Hey, hey, teacher friends, it's Monica Genta, and we are coming at you today with another mind-blowing episode of the teacher vlog. I have invited an absolute ray of sunshine onto today's episode. Her name is Vicki Moore, and she is a second grade teacher from California who is sharing two quick tips on how we can create classroom community while building relationships, and then how this translates to the entire school year, making our students feel extra special and extra loved. Now, at the end of the episode, I want you to stick around because I've got some additional links to even more amazing tips and tricks to help you in a really great way this week. For right now, let's check out Vicki Moore because she is sharing quick tips like crazy and you're going to love them. All right, teacher friends, I am with Vicki Moore, who is coming to us from warm and not so sunny today, but California. Right. And we were yes. talking about how all those friends who are teaching in Illinois right now, uh, many of us had snow days here recently. Oh. That is probably not something that is an issue in California. Never had a snow day, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about these tips? Okay, well, um, what, what started my idea this last August that I did at, with my grade level was I saw kind of a meme going around social media in June, and it was a bunch of teachers giving each other high fives while the, the buses were driving off. Okay. And I, I get it. Like, we're tired. We've worked hard all year. Yeah. But I thought it just resonated with me, and I thought, gosh, wouldn't that be great if we flipped it and we welcomed the children like that? Mm -hmm. So um, at Meet the Teacher Day, I had some letters stapled, and I handed it to the parents. And um, after they said goodbye to the kids the first day of school at the line, they were in the hallways and I lined the hallways with pom-poms, cheerleading pom-poms. Yes. And so we came through the double doors and the parents and grandparents and older siblings, they were like cheering and giving high fives and yelling, happy first day of second grade. And um, my coworker was crying. Yes. <laughs> she, like, she like got tears in her eyes and the parents just loved it. Um, it just started the year off right, not only with the students just feeling like rock stars, yeah. but the, the parents just knowing like these teachers are committed and they're going to love on my babies, you mm -hmm. know? So it was just a really, really awesome way to start the year. It was super fun. Yeah. I love that because you bring up a great point. That was equally important for the adults as it was the kids, because especially in the younger grades, parents yes. are like, oh my gosh, my baby's going off to like kindergarten right. or first grade and there's yes. that like oh my gosh they're growing up but to know that yes they're growing up but m my student's teacher this year is super excited and welcoming and loving like I'm sure that totally made them feel so much better it's like it's like rolling out the red carpet for their kids yes exactly yeah and it, it was just it was just so 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 much fun I just I loved it I'm gonna do it's gonna become a tradition for sure yeah I yeah. love that. And I love that it was inspired by a meme because I think <laughs> these are always trending on like Facebook and, and Instagram right. and that kind of thing. And you're right. Like it is, it is exciting for summer break, but you never want those kids to understand and to really see that, like that we're not in it to win it like all right. the time. So I love Absolutely. that you took something that was potentially negative and turned it yeah. just uber positive. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. And then to kind of go with that yeah. throughout the year, I just try to keep that momentum going. I'm just so much about classroom community and building those relationships with these sweet kids. And so I just use either die cuts, old school die cuts. I've been around a while okay. or um, clip art. And so I don't, hopefully you can see this, but it just says like, you light up my life because, mm -hmm. and I do them seasonally. And then like, you are unique because or, um, I'm lucky to be your teacher because of Shamrock. So I just make sure that I leave notes on their desk periodically throughout the year and being very specific in my note for that particular child of what I appreciate about them. Yeah. I just think that's really important to keep that relationship going, you know? Yeah. Those are adorable. Like, okay. Mm. So from, as a middle school teacher, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm also, I'm, admittedly not that crafty but those are adorable and like 
I love that not only is it cute and it's meaningful, the most important part that, that what I heard is it's personal. Like you are tapping into the relationships that you have with the kids to make sure that it's super personal and meaningful to them as a unique individual. Like that's fantastic. Oh, well, I love I that. I love, love that. Thank you. Thank you. It's fun. So, and I'm sure, like, do you see kids like slipping those into like their folders or their cubbies and like cherishing them and keeping them? Well, it's funny you say that because um, the binders with the clear, yeah, that you can stick things in. Okay, so I had a student that had like all of them in, in the little clear binder. He kept putting them in, and then I guess he took his yearbook from the previous year yeah. and he cut out my little face. <laughs> so I had like this little tiny yearbook picture with all these notes in the clear binder. Oh my gosh, that is the cutest thing ever. You're it like a really superhero, funny. like a oh. celebrity to these kids. It was funny. That is cute though, because I think that brings this entire conversation full circle. The fact that you made the kids feel like celebrities from day one and that you were in this incredible inviting environment, but then you continue to show that throughout the year. And now like you're the super celebrity because they're cutting your little yearbook picture out and like... <laughs> That's amazing. Very yeah. beautiful. Well, very good for funny. you. I think it's it's teachers like you who understand the importance that when we are building a classroom community, it translates into really strong relationships. Mm -hmm. And then when when that is the foundation, so much of the time behavior management just works itself out. It, it's so much easier for sure. Yeah. Yes. Very cool. If yeah. you could leave us with one final thought, what would you say? Um just kind of that whole idea of how important it is to build relationships. And like you just said, the behavior management piece just rolls right in. And, um, and I have, you know, lots of one thing about behavior management that I think is so key that I think a lot of people either forget or don't think about is consistency. We all know is key. Like right. that is a no brainer, mm -hmm. but the, um, incentive needs to not be consistent. That's like my whole thing. Yes. It's, you just have to switch up the incentive. Like I have a couple little things I'll show you really fast. Yeah, totally. These are chair back covers. Uh-huh. And I get them um, Oriental Trading Company, Dollar Tree. Oh, they're so cute. And, and so what happens is when a child walks in in the morning, if they're focused and engaged in doing what they need to be doing, I'll slip it real quietly on the back of the chair. Yeah. And then maybe during reading groups, someone else is helping someone being a rock star. Then I'll take it off and slip it on the back of their chair. And then at the end of the day, whoever has the Santa hat or the pumpkin on the back of their chair gets a prize. Ah. Uh, and they love that. Yes. And they just never know what I'm going to come up with. Like every <laughs> month I have, they're like, oh, she has a Christmas tree in the classroom. What is she doing with that? Like, I just mm -hmm. like to keep it fresh. And um, this is my table point reward and it's my Bitmoji. Yes, <laughs> I love this. <laughs> so you just have to, you know, you just have to keep it fresh with these guys. I totally agree. Oh my yeah. gosh, I love it. Your trophy thing has me all sorts of amped up because <laughs> I I found a trophy at a, a thrift store and it was a it was a golfing trophy and I knocked the golf club out of the guy's hand and I made these silly little toothpick flags. Oh my goodness. And I do something similar. So the the class period of the day that has okay. like the greatest behavior, they get their little toothpick flag uh, in the guy's hand. In the, in the guy's hand. That's yeah, awesome. and it's perfect. And it's I it's, love it. It's totally, it's those silly things yeah. that are really inexpensive and right. make such a big difference because it's right. always like, ooh, what's happening next? That's yes. Awesome. And it just, it keeps them on their toes and they want to behave because it's like fun and exciting and new, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's so. so cool because that's working in a second grade classroom and I've seen it work in yes. a middle school classroom. And I think sometimes people believe like, oh, these are age specific, but I'll right. tell you one thing that's never age specific is feeling good. Like knowing yeah. somebody like is looking at you and appreciating what you're doing, whether sure. you are seven years old or 57 years old, yeah, absolutely, that just feels good. It feels good. You're right, Monica. Yeah. Absolutely. I love it. Cool. Yeah. Girl, high five. I love high this. Five. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, how great was that? I love how her heart is literally exploding with passion for making sure that kids understand that they are valued.
That little trophy that she's talking about, I love this concept. It's actually something that I use in my classroom as well. If you want to learn more about that, I actually have an entire chapter in my book called Game Changers about using friendly class competitions in order to help maintain and develop relationships. You got to check that out. But one other thing, if you were listening to that red carpet experience that she was describing and you want to see something like that play out live, I actually have a video clip of something that has been done at my own school where we get cheerleaders and inflatable dinosaurs. I'm not even kidding. We pump up the music and we make sure that kids feel amped up as they walk through those doors. Check out that link below as well. If you don't get anything else done this week while you were in your classroom, I want you to remember one really important thing. Hey, you got this.